Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute board. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who see first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh! Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh, let's go. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just a slip there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, he lands. 
lands a huge kick here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go. Big body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice jab by Lee. Yeah. Head kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. Right now, this situation is often because he's, a t he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready. Second round underway. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Let him go. Time to let go Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Right hand upstairs. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. That was a thudding leg kick. And he comes through with a... That was landed clean. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round one. Right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, right in the mount. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. And he connects there with a punch. Oh, yeah. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, so the tall fighter lands a flush knee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice one-two there. It's such a fast leg kick. 
That one's not in. Nice strike. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was going. in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Here we go, third round of this championship. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He got him. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Again, but he looks like he's compromised. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Gets up again here, but hurts him. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And...